Hello my friends, I'm Frank here. Welcome to Club Foodie. During the summer months, when the mercury rises way above our comfort zone, we certainly don't want to spend too much time in the kitchen prepping and cooking. But if we do, it has to be fast. I like appetizers, and although I have a long list of quick and easy recipes, I think this one is the fastest. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my Saganaki Opa. This Greek dish is ideal to serve when you have company. Plus, it takes five minutes from start to finish. It's perfect to serve with slices of bread or crackers and a great recipe to add to your folder. So my friends, let's get cooking. Here's a nice slice of kefalotiri cheese and it's about half an inch thick. We don't want it any thinner than that, otherwise the cheese will melt easily and we want to keep it as intact as possible when we fry it. We'll immerse the cheese in cold water for a few seconds, hold it to remove any excess, and then dip it in flour, making sure it's well coated. And that includes the edges as well, which will help keep the cheese from oozing out as much. We'll remove any excess flour and move on to the stove. In a small skillet over medium heat, we'll add oil, and when the temperature reaches 350 degrees Fahrenheit, we'll place a coated cheese and fry for about two minutes or until nice and golden. Then we'll flip it and this time we'll fry it for only one minute. This is not traditional but always fun to do when it works. So we'll pour in some ouzo and ignite it and the lighter doesn't work. Come on now. Come on. Oh, jeez. And there, oh, opa. It was a little shy opa. Oh, well. Now, for the finishing touch, we'll squeeze on some lemon juice and serve immediately. And my friends, this is our Saganaki opa. This popular Greek appetizer can now be enjoyed in the comfort of your house. As you saw, it only takes five minutes and it's ready to serve with bread or crackers. To get that flame show, just make sure your lighter works first. Hmm? <laughs> I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time my friends, bon appétit!